and by viewers like you. Keep students engaged in learning over the summer. The Michigan Learning Channel's eight-week summer program has everything kids need to continue building their brains and learning key concepts that will help them succeed in school. From preschool to sixth grade, each grade has a variety of video lessons, a fun and interactive activity book, virtual events and special broadcasts around our eight weekly themes. All programs are available on the Michigan Learning Channel and on demand at michiganlearning.org slash summer. It's the Michigan Learning Channel Summer. Join us for new learning adventure each week with new programming, fun activities, cool teachers, and more. Summer is full of opportunities to play and learn. That is why we've worked with PBS stations and content creators to bundle our favorite activities into an eight-week activity book specific to your child's age. Find out how to download or pick up your summer activity book at michiganlearning.org slash summer. Hello and welcome. This is a virtual family workshop. Today we are with Ruff Ruffman. And we've also got some special guests today. First First of all, I'm Miss Tara, Tara Hardy, the Director of Education Engagement. And with me today, I have Miss Jenny, who is also a PBS lady. And then we've got some special kids with us today. Don't, hi, Miss Jenny. We've got some special kids with us today that are our VIP kids for PBS Kids. Let's go ahead and meet those kids real quick. And kids, when I say your name, if you could just wave, that would be fantastic. All right, the first group we've got to, with us today, we've got Andrew and Patrick, and they're with their dad. Say hi, guys. All right, and then we've also got Miss Marcy, who is with her grandpa, and her little uh, brother Alex might make an appearance if we get lucky during this show. And hi, Marcy. And hi, grandpa. And last but certainly not least, we have Miss Summer, who is also a PBS lady. She has two of her girls with her. We've got Autumn and Aviva. Hi, ladies. All right, everyone is here today to talk about mixtures with Ruff Ruffman. Now, I've been talking to these kids for a little bit, and I know that Patrick has a mixture in front of him, and so does Andrew. And we were talking about mixtures, how sometimes you can put them together and sometimes you can take them apart after you mix them. Andrew and Patrick, can you show me the Lego boat you have in front of you? Can you show me that one? You got the Lego boat, the ship, space, the ship? Oh, you know what? I think you might be muted. What? There we go. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a space ship. A, a space battle ship. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking boat. I wasn't thinking spaceship. Oh, and you put that together with Legos? Yeah. All right, so you sort of made a mixture there with Legos, right? Yeah, Can you take one. those Legos yeah. apart? Can you take those Legos apart? Yeah. Yeah, you can. So that one you can unmix. And then, Andrew, you've got a mixture that you made with clay. Do you still have that in front of you? Um, no, he had it on Andrew. <laughs> There it is. He does. He has the purple clay. And can you tell me again what colors did you mix to make the purple clay? Uh, I have purple and orange clay. Okay. What'd you make with what colors did you use for the purple clay? Blue. Uh. Blue and uh, blue and blue and red and I think I accidentally used a little bit of black. Ah, so you've got dark purple. So now can you take that blue and red back out of that clay? You can't, can you? That's a mixture that mixed together and you can't unmix. All right, we are going to watch 
uh, a show about rough roughing in just a minute. Um, and we're going to figure out about mixtures that can be mixed together and mixtures that can be unmixed. But there's some key vocabulary we want to learn about. So I'm going to ask the kids to put on your thinking hats. And those of you at home, I'd like you to do it too. And Miss Jenny, we might need your help. We'll see what these kids know. Does anyone know what is a lit? What is a scientist? Anybody know? Oh, Aviva and Autumn. One of, can one of you tell me, and then we'll have the other one tell me. What do you think a scientist is? A scientist is like a per is a person who who makes experiences, and sometimes like the good experiences, but sometimes they turn out to be bad. Yeah, so so you can make mistakes with these experiences and experiments, and it still makes you a scientist because you're learning from them, right? And then what were you going to say, Autumn? A scientist is a person who likes to explore different things and likes to like figure out the mysteries of those different things. So are you ladies scientists? Maybe. No. <laughs> Yes, and maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to put a pin in that, and I'm going to come back to you after we watch Rough Ruffin to see if you still think that. Because I don't, I didn't think I was a scientist, but Miss Jenny, she told me I was a scientist. Miss Jenny, are you there? Can you tell them what you told me? Well, I am still here, Miss Tara. Miss Tara, did you know anyone can be a scientist? Because all you have to do to be a scientist is ask a lot of questions. So if you like to ask questions and find out the answer for those questions, that makes you a scientist. Okay, well, I'm gonna say I'm a scientist and I hope that Autumn and Aviva changed their minds. Actually, I think it was just Aviva that said no. Autumn was like a maybe. All right, so now I'm gonna ask all kids to get ready. We need all the kids on the screen. And kids, I'm gonna tell you something. You're a kid, so just in this game, you might be a big kid, but I'm gonna call you a little. Okay, and don't be offended. You're just you're just littler than the adults. Now, Summer and Grandpa and Patrick and Andrew's dad and Miss Jenny, you're all the bigs. And I'm not trying to be offensive here either. We're just bigger than kids, or at least people expect us to be. So we're gonna have a little competition here between the bigs and the littles. Okay, so let's make sure we all know who we are. If you're a little, raise your hand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, Andrew and Patrick, you're the littles. Yep, I know you're a big kid, but I'm just gonna call you little for this game. All right, if you're a big, can you raise your hand? All right, the bigs, no, oh, I see grandpa's hand. All right, so we're gonna play a game. You're gonna have to watch because I'm sneaky and I love to play tricks. When you see Rough Ruffman, you're gonna take your finger and put it on your nose. And Marcy knows this game, don't you, Marcy? You remember this one? Miss Jenny's fast, Miss Marcy. We gotta beat her, okay? So get it ready. And I'm gonna show you Ruff Ruffman and we're gonna see if you understand the game. So he's gonna pop up every once in a while and when you see him, you put your finger on your nose and you gotta be faster than the people you're with. Okay, ready? Oh, Viva, you were fast. We got one for the littles. Biggs, you gotta be a little bit quicker, all right? So I'm gonna try to sneak this Rough Ruffman in a lot, okay? So be watching for it. All right, but as we're thinking about that, we're gonna get ready to watch. Oh! <laughs> Biggs, these littles are fast today. Autumn, you are just smoking. You must have got some of Aviva's smoke to get going for the next one. All right, let's watch this quick video and learn what Ruff Ruffman has to say. Are you ready? The Ruff Ruffman Show! With Blossom and Chet. Yeah! Sweet, my Ruff A customers are calling. Yowza, my Scruff A clients are calling. Hi, Ruff. Hi, Scruff. We have your next assignment for our party. Dessert! Ooh. And as usual, we have some requirements. Our friends' favorite colors are orange, purple, and green. So we'll have to see these colors in the dessert. No problem. 
I won't let you down. Good luck, brother. Okay, Team Rough A, we need to make a dessert that's green, purple, and orange. Hmm. Well, I've got this orange juice, which is definitely orange. But what dessert can we make with it? <gasps> a smoothie! Oh, that is my specialty. Hmm, I wonder what ice cream is in the freezer. Mint, good, nice and green. And raspberry. Yup, got purple. Now watch the master chef. First, we plop in the green ice cream, then plop in the purple, add the orange juice, and then we turn it. What, Blossom? You don't think it'll work, but just picture it. It'll be thick and slushy with delectable swirls of green, orange, and purple. It's a slam dunk, so let's boogie. Ah. 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 Eh, maybe putting a lid on first is a good idea. Okay. The ice cream is definitely getting softer and more liquidy as it mixes with the orange juice. It's gonna work! It's gonna work! It's... It's brown. Why is it brown? Hello, brother. How's dessert coming? Oh, that looks brown. Yeah, I'm still working out the kinks. Yeah, me too. It's a grab bag. Got a tasty combo of orange cubes of cheddar, uh, some peeled kiwis for the green, and purple asparagus. Very gourmet. Uh-huh. Are you sure it tastes good? Well, I got some of my pals coming over to be guinea pigs for a taste test. I've got a chart with each ingredient, so I can keep track of which ingredients my testers like and don't like. Uh, they're here now. Excuse me. Yo, Scruff. Hey, Scruff, make with the snacks. I'm starving over here. Ah, actual guinea pigs. Right. Yeah, that's what I said. Come on in, guys. Hey guys. How's the dessert going? Um, well, your dessert's a little brown at the moment, but it's okay. I just need to unmix it and start again. Ruff, you can't unmix the things you put in the blender. Well, of course I can unmix them. I just need to put the blender in reverse. Chet, will you do the honors? Oh, and you might want to put the lid on. Ah, uh, I'll call you guys back. And it's still brown. Okay, let's think about this. I knew the ingredients would change, that the solid ice cream and liquid juice would combine into a thick, slushy liquid smoothie, but the colors changed too. Instead of green, purple, and orange, I just have a lot of brown, and it won't unmix. I guess when things are mixed together, they're really hard to unmix. Maybe impossible. Okay, I have results of my taste test. No one liked the purple asparagus, so I'm switching them out with purple gummy squids. Oh, grape flavored? What? No, squid flavor. Ugh. Well, you won't be able to take your mix apart because once things are mixed together, they can't be unmixed. Uh, I can unmix it, see? I'm separating the ingredients into separate piles so I can just swap out the asparagus for squids and mix it together again. See ya. Hmm, I guess when you mix things together, sometimes you can unmix them and sometimes you can't. Scruff's materials were all solids, and my ice cream started as a solid, but when I mixed it with the liquid orange juice, it all became a thick liquid. So what if I only used the solid ice cream this time? Yes, orange sorbet instead of orange juice. Nice call, Blossom. We'll fill up this bowl with lots of tiny scoops from each container. So long as the ice cream stays cold and solid, the three colors will stay separate. <laughs> Hey, Ruff, the Scruff A delivery service has already delivered the grab bags. Is your dessert ready yet? Yup, we just finished. The Ruff A Frozen Tiny Scoop Mix Special. With a barbershop for mice on top of it. <laughs> Chat! Sorry, guys, with the extra mouse fur, you might not want to eat it now. We're not crazy about Scruff's grab bag. But I still guess he wins this round. Aw, uh, yeah. Aw, oh, man. Sorry, Ruff which means the score is two to two. It's down to the wire, brother. The Ruff Ruffman Show. Yeah! Yeah, the Ruff Ruffman Show. All right, kids, do you see what I see? Oh, I think we've got a tie between the Bigs and Littles, Dad and Andrew and, and Patrick. 
you got some competition going there. Oh, look at all the fingers on the nose. All right, we learned about mixtures. We learned about liquids. We learned about solids and mixtures. So I'm curious, kids, when Ruff talks about unmixing something, what, how, how do you unmix something? Any ideas? Oh, Marcy, you got coins. You mixed all your coins together. It looks like you're unmixing them. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder why they just must not have mixed together like the stuff in the blender. Um, I think that Autumn had some things that she mixed together too. Autumn, do you still have your trail mix? Can you open that and show us what's in or tell us what's in there? Well, there's nuts, cranberries, cranberries. I can mix them. Oh, she could. She could pull all the nuts out. So you could unmix those things. Now, it looks like Autumn and Marcy might both have solids. Are those both solids? Is that why we could unmix them? Uh, what about the Legos? Remember the Legos that Andrew had? Can he unmix those two? Those are, are those solids? I think those are solids too. Is that a solid? It is. Does anybody know what a solid is? Yeah, but... Go ahead. Uh, I said it's something that's held and you can hold it in your hand. Oh yeah. So do do you think as a scientist that anything that's a solid really can't be mixed? I'm really not sure because your clay, I was thinking your clay was a solid. I feel like it is a solid and a liquid. It, it, it what? I feel like it is both a solid and a liquid. Yeah, but maybe like the heat of your hands mushed it together and made it more like liquid when you mixed them together. I don't know. As a scientist, I would like to know further about that. I think I might have to look that one up this week because I just don't know. And there's, I just have more questions that I'd like to learn about. So I have a, a video or, or the next activity we're going to show you is actually Autumn was thinking ahead. I think she might have she might have known what was happening. But Miss Jenny's gonna show us how to make a trail mix at home, similar to like what Autumn showed. Also, Marcy mixed some things together that she could unmix. So this week, with your big and your little, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, Miss Summer, I don't know. It was so close. It was so close. I think that one might have been a tie. You think they won? Oh, girls, you're smoking again. <laughs> All right. So I want you to think this week. I want you to be scientists and look at stuff and decide what's a mixture, what's a liquid, what's solid. Let's investigate. But right now, let's see how Miss Jenny finds stuff that she had at home to make a trail mix. Let's watch. Kids love collecting things. This simple activity will let your kids collect objects and learn a thing or two about sorting and comparing items. So here I have just a mixture of snacks, um, some sweets, some salted snacks, um, just a variety of different items. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your child put a few of those different things on the plate and we're going to mix them all up and you're gonna have them sort them. Now I want you to have them think about how they might sort them. So they might think about color or shape or taste. Are they salty? Are they sweet? But let them tell you how they're gonna sort them. You'll be amazed at what they come up with. So you might do shape, have them put all the circles on one end and all the squares over in another. This one we have teddy bears and we have fish. Make sure you have them, label them before you do anything else, and then mix them up again. This time, how might they do it? Well, maybe this time they're gonna do sweet and salty. So they might have to do a little taste testing first, but have them pick all the sweet 
sweets on the plate and put them on one side and all the salty on the other. All right, go again. Mix them all up. This time, do they know their colors? Maybe they can sort by colors. So we're gonna do the browns in one side, orange in another, red and green. Again, making sure that they're labeling and um, taking a stab at it without your help at first. Also, try mixing things together that can't be unmixed. So what kind of things around the house might they use? You might use paint or you could use even yogurt with some food coloring. See what happens and let them figure out what things can be sorted and what things can't. Encourage your kids to make careful observations by collecting and sorting objects both inside and outside. Sorting requires your child to look closely at the different properties of an item. Things like color, shape, size, smell, and texture. When deciding which ones go together, your child practices another important skill, comparing and contrasting. For more fun activities, visit dptv.org education. All right, who got it, bigs or littles? Point to the one that you think won. Oh, the littles. It looks like a V-ball was super fast. Again, Patrick, I see you got your finger on your nose. So I have all kinds of ideas. While Rough Ruffin was, or I'm sorry, not Rough Ruffin, Miss Jenny. I don't know how I got them mixed up. Only one is sassy and the other one's not. Well, maybe they're both sassy. It depends on if they're mad at me or not. Are you sassy, Miss Marcy? You got something to say? Miss Marcy, I was, I was thinking about your coins, why they were doing those mixtures. And I was thinking about, Patrick's clay, and I'm just so confused about the clay. I was thinking about Andrew's Legos, and I was thinking about Autumn's trail mix. What are ways, like you got the mix together. What are ways you could sort all of those things? Marcy, how could you sort your coins? Oh, Marcy, we can't hear you again. I'm gonna try to read your lips. You were missing a few there we are. Yes, We're good. So. Um, I have the stuff to make trail mix is what I was trying to say. We have oh, that's right. That's over there. Here we have so coins. We have coins. And oh. You have what coins. Too. What we what? have everything here except for well, okay, we're not using them. So what are some ways you could sort those things, Marcy? Well, you could sort them by color or just a thing. The actual Thank thing. You. Like, I was just sorting the coins by like, there were quarters in one pile, there were nickels in one pile, and there were pennies in one pile. That's all I had, so that far. What if you put the raisins in with your coins? How could you sort them then? I take apart the raisins and the coins? Things you can eat and things you shouldn't put in your mouth? <laughs> 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 all right, let's see what the other kids have. So we've got Legos, clay. <laughs> We've got another trail mix. Anybody else have any other ideas on how you might have sorted things? Go ahead, Autumn. Well, you can sort from the trail mix, nuts, and, and cranberries. Yeah. Or you could think if you had a bunch of, of trail mix, you could sort it by things you like to eat and things you don't like to eat, or salty and not salty. These are great ideas. Oh, I am so thankful to have all of these PBS kids with us this week. Let me let me see all your faces one more time. I'm gonna give you one more chance. I'm not gonna tell you what the chance is. Let me just wait. Let me wait till I get you all on screen. Okay, are you ready? Miss Jenny's ready. I think she knows what I'm about to do. Oh, my nose is a little itchy. Hang on, let me scratch it. Okay, are you ready? Bing! Oh, Patrick, I think you stole that one. Pigs <laughs> and Littles, this was a fun game to play. 
I loved playing with you. I loved learning from you. I look forward to learning from you in the future. Thank you for joining us today. We really loved having you. And those of you at home, if you're looking for more stuff to do, we encourage you to go to the website, dptv.org slash rough. And you'll see what you see on your screen right now, more Rough Ruffman resources. Here we've got stuff for teachers that are in the box right under Rough Ruffman that you can do in your classroom. And those of you who are our parents that like to do school stuff at home, you can do it there too. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see some stuff. If you have access to a printer, you can print out and you can in, and just play some games there. You keep going down. We got more extension activities that you can do. There's some recipes. Oh, recipes would be a great thing to figure out mixtures. You could put stuff in. I'm thinking most of the time recipes you can't unmix, but I'm really not sure. Maybe some of you scientists can prove me right or wrong. And then if you keep going down, oh, there's our friend Mateo. Mateo was a VIP, is a VIP kid, and he tried out these, these online games for you, and he said that they're pretty good. So you can do a cookie creator, or you can do photo stuff with Roth, and that, that rhymes pretty good. So go ahead, find some cool things to do, and uh, we will see you next time. Keep students engaged in learning over the summer. The Michigan Learning Channel's eight-week summer program has everything kids need to continue building their brains and learning key concepts that will help them succeed in school. From preschool to sixth grade, each grade has a variety of video lessons, a fun and interactive activity book, virtual events and special broadcasts around our eight weekly themes. All programs are available on the Michigan Learning Channel and on demand at michiganlearning.org slash summer. It's the Michigan Learning Channel Summer. Join us for new learning adventure each week with new programming, fun activities, cool teachers, and more. Summer is full of opportunities to play and learn. That is why we've worked with PBS stations and content creators to bundle our favorite activities into an eight-week activity book specific to your child's age. Find out how to download or pick up your summer activity book at michiganlearning.org summer.